Fadi Madu Adamu's parents two years ago arranged her marriage as a 16-year-old to a man more than twice her age. Her husband often beat her, says Adamu, until she was rescued by the region's first female chiefs. I was suffering there. I didn't even have enough to eat. It was Aja Kaigama who gave money to my older sister, Aisatu, who came to take me back here. Cameroon's councils of traditional rulers or chiefs are customarily men. But in the last two years, 11 women like Aja Kaigama Saidu have been appointed as deputy chiefs. While they are still under the direction of a higher-ranking male chief, the female chiefs say the new role means they can do more to help women. Our work with the women, we explain to them how they can go through us to express their needs at the level of the chiefdom, to denounce violence against women. They have problems that they cannot express to men. It is through us that they easily express their needs. The UN's Children's Fund says why more than a third of Cameroonian girls are married before the age of 18 and miss out on school. The rate jumps to 60% in the country's north. Student Aisatu Chanigi got pregnant when she was 15 years old. Her parents wanted to pull her out of school and marry her off, but the women chiefs convinced them otherwise. They came to talk with them to convince them that even if I have a child, my parents do not abandon me. I have the right, I have every chance in the world to succeed. It took four years of lobbying by the Association of Women and Girls of the Adamawa region, AFADA, to get the chiefdoms to agree to open to women. AFADA says Cameroon's female chiefs have helped hundreds of women and girls in cases of gender-based violence and assessing health care and education. In the villages where we now have women chiefs, the feedback we have received from the schools is that the enrollment rate of young girls has increased by 40% for this school year. Afada says they will continue to push for more women chiefs to reduce Cameroon's gender inequalities. For Anne Zwanke in Mokolo, Cameroon, Moki Edwin Kinzaka for VOA News.